Since the first broadcast in 1999, One Piece has had 25 openings, and that's just TV episodes, not counting movies or specials. And the original theme by Hiroshiki Tadani has been replaced many times over the years. But it remains one of the absolute icons of One Piece. And this theme is wild. Tommy, Okay, so I can already hear stuff going on in here, and I've actually found an instrumental version of this because I really wanted to hear some of the stuff going on in the background underneath the narration in the opening, and it is sick! Okay, hold on, wait, 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 check that out. So first of all, we kinda, um, uh, what on, what key are we in? All right, so we're in E flat. Wow, I don't know why I didn't figure that out ahead of time. It lands, of course, on the five, on this big sus chord, right before we get into the main part of the theme. But what are those chords leading up to that? We gotta go one by one here because it's hard to hear. Now, I can hear based on the motion here, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're dealing with like a minor thirds thing. Let me check. Oh, I think this is just like a, like a B flat sus chord. Check this out. That's what this is. B flat sus, D flat sus, E sus, we're going right up minor thirds. Oh, oh, what does it do there? So all we're doing is we're keeping E flat in the bass and we're going uh, E flat triad, D flat triad, B triad, which as you'll remember, this is like the anime sound, right? So many themes and soundtracks in anime use this movement. It's a very common sound, and that's because it just sounds epic. So we haven't even gotten into the main part of the theme yet, but like, I mean, come on. Woo, wait, what is that? Uh, 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 we're going. Is that right? I think it's. Oh, these are so cool. We're using so many of these chords and what this actually is, it is a sus chord, right? But it, there's more to it than that because a true just sus four, for example, would be like B flat, E flat, and F it, if it was a B flat sus four. But when we elaborate on that voicing, we can create a much more elaborate chord structure. We can get something as, as involved as that. That's like a B flat seven uh, sus. And it, we're using the, the two and the four, and we can sometimes use the 13. So this would be like a B flat, we'd call it a sus 13, right? It's a beautiful sound, but you know what's so cool about it is, I kind of look at this as just having, it's a B flat in the bass, but then look. If we're not using the 13 in this case, because I'm not hearing a 13 here, but this, what is that? That's just A flat. It's just an A flat major chord over a B flat. Right? So you can kind of use that trick anywhere. If you want to play a sus chord that sounds beautiful and developed on any particular note, just play the triad of the whole step below it. Let me illustrate that. Okay, so let me play a C, same exact voicing as this, C sus. There's my C, well what's a whole step below C? B flat, let me just play a B flat major chord. There's that beautiful sound over a C chord, right? Uh, let's do it over, I don't know, how about uh, F sharp? There's F sharp, a whole step down is E, so I'm gonna play an E major chord. Check that out. These are these little tricks with harmony and chord voicings that you can figure out and then utilize in your own playing to be able to play chords like this anywhere. And if you want to know a whole lot more, well, guess what? The Black Friday sale is still going on, but today is going to be your final day to take advantage of that sale is what we said at the beginning of the weekend. But then your feedback has just been so unbelievable and we've heard so many amazing things from all of you. We wanted to give you just a couple extra days to get a hold of that sale. And so we are extending just by two days guys that's it so that means Wednesday will be your final day to get a hold of that sale if you click the link below it'll take you straight there you can get my entire
entire course library. It's a $700 plus dollar value for just 99 bucks because Black Friday sales should be actual Black Friday sales and not this stupid 15, 20% off that everybody seems to be doing nowadays. No, we wanna do something real. And as you may know, this is how we support this channel and your support is just so, so appreciated. So I, I can't thank you all enough. Let's get back into this because wow. So we're using those sus chords and we're just going, we wanna end up here, but we're gonna go first, we're gonna go up a half step, up a whole step from there, and then back to the five chord. And we haven't even started the melody yet, you guys. Let's take a look at that. There's already, there's just so much going on so instantly. We're using a basic motion here, which is a the one chord. We're in the key of E flat and we're going to the five chord, but we want to create a consistent motion in the bass line. So instead of just going from E flat and now, and then playing a, a B flat, we're actually going to go down a half step. And we can do that because this D is actually part of B flat major. It's B flat major's third, right? So we're putting the third in the bass. So we go E flat, B flat, and then we get another chromatic downward motion to D flat. We turn it around with a four, five. A flat, B flat, back to the beginning again. Listen to this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you have no idea. All right. It almost looks the same because we go E flat to D, but here's the difference. We're going from E flat. The first time we just made that a regular B flat major chord. It's our five chord. We're putting the third in the bass, but this time we go, we do this really cool movement. So we go, there's a two five, but it's a minor two five. It's a two five that leads us to a minor resolution. And it does that with this chord, D half diminished, or D minor seven flat five. That's our two, and then we get a G seven chord with a flat nine. And that's resolving us to a C minor chord. Now, a major two five would have sounded more like this. But the second we start making those alterations, primarily using an A flat on both the D chord and the G chord, we make it sound like this. Hear how that just feels like it wants to resolve to a minor chord versus. Those are the same three root notes. It's a D minor seven chord to a G seven chord to a C chord. But just by changing a couple of the notes within the chord, we can make it sound like it's gonna go to a minor place. And that's what we do here. Whoa, and then we get. <laughs> Before going to our five chord, that's an A half diminished. And then. Yeah, we get that same. That's so cool. Ooh, yes. E flat major, G flat major, back to E flat major. It's just an epic sound and we've heard it before, have we not? What's that sound like? It's just an epic chord progression. Was that a backdoor 2 5? What? Hold on. <laughs> so in jazz, we have this, this uh, device that we, we call a backdoor 2 5, and it's where the 5 chord winds up a whole step below where we're actually going to. So if I was to play a 2 5 in C. I could go to C, but if those two chords, D minor seven and G seven, were a backdoor two five, then that would mean it would be a backdoor two five going to A. And it's a really cool sound, check this out. That's such a cool sound, it's just this like, ah, an opening up, and that's literally what we're doing here. Yeah! Okay, 
Okay, so <laughs> we can hear our bass note going A flat, G, to C minor. And I think that the chord there is just simply A flat major to that G7 chord resolving to the C minor place again. Now we heard sort of that same thing before when we went from E flat and did our little minor 2-5 to C minor. Now we're still going to C minor and we're, we're starting in E flat major, but instead of doing that, that D minor 7 flat 5 chord, we just traded out for a simple A flat major chord. Now that's actually remarkably similar because with the exception of this E flat on top, if we take C and A flat and just add our F and D on the bottom, we get the same chord as we used the first time. So this to that to that is almost identical as this. Just slightly different ways of getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we go right around the key circle there. That's it. Oh, okay. Um. Whoa. Okay, that's where we're going now, I guess. B flat minor, this is the first place we went. A flat, and then we just resolved it to our home key. And now we go back here, but instead of going, doing the same thing again, we go from here, and now we set up this five chord. And I think the melody even does that. Yeah. Check that out, I mean. It's really just doing an incredible job at leading us to that resolution. There's like no other place we can go. It's such great melody writing. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we, we landed here on F minor, and now we need to go, <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna get this, the, the anime chord progression, we're gonna get it here, D flat, E flat, and then we came from F minor, but we're gonna resolve on F major. And doesn't that just feel like a, oh, where are we going next? And boy, do we get the answer to that question. Whoa. We gotta get back to E flat somehow, right? And so why not end up right on the five chord? Well, how do we get there? Why don't we bring back that same sound from the intro, but just do it here. It's the same type of vibe, right? We're here, and we're gonna go up a half step, up a whole step. We did that same thing in the beginning. We were we were on B flat, and we went up a half step, up a whole step. Only this time, we're gonna go up a half step, up a whole step, and land on that five chord to take us back to B flat. Wow, oh man, that ending. And then it just ends back on, on E flat. Wow, I mean, geez, this is just loaded with amazing harmony and melody writing. I mean, so many of you have been telling me to look into this because they said the music is amazing and wow, you are not lying. I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta process this, I think. It's just so nuts. Thank you for bringing this to my attention because this soundtrack is a, just an absolute joy to listen to. And once again, before I go, that Black Friday sale is now extended for just two more days. So if you want to learn piano, if you want to learn how to listen to all this stuff and figure out what's going on, just like I'm doing here. I've got eight courses to teach you how to do it in one giant bundle and it's available right now for just 99 bucks. And again, that's the best way that you can support this channel if you are looking for a way to do that. And I'm so appreciative of your support. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>